now as we mark the anniversary of Chernobyl. Many say that the world has failed to learn the lessons on nuclear safety that the tragedy provided. We're now joined by Pavel Dakovlev, the d director of the Atomic Energy dot, uh, website. Thank you for joining us today. Um, so just like Chernobyl, the Japanese authorities are now planning to cover the damaged reactors with a sarcophagus here. Uh, so does that mean the, the end is in sight? Uh, yes, they've been talking about it, but uh, however, putting a, putting a sarcophagus does not necessarily mean the solving of the problem. I would argue that uh, we need to, and the Japanese authorities, need to uh, maintain and develop a very unique, in-depth decommissioning plan, and uh, they would ultimately have to take all the radioactive materials out of there, uh, safely store it, reprocess some of it, and minimize the volume, and keep it contained within uh, monitored locations. But when you talk about containment of the damaged reactors, you talk about a sarcophagus, that's, that's a six-month temporary fix, right? Um, I wouldn't say that, that it is a fix. Uh, I would say it's more of a uh, populistic uh, con concept, but uh, the scientists and the robots need to get inside. We need to know what exactly is going on within all the chambers, within uh, the, the containment, and uh, uh, ultimately I would say we'll have to take the structure apart. And uh, But of course, um, this decision has to be made by the, by the Japanese authorities only upon considering uh, the, um, the toxicity and, and... Well, let's, let's talk about uh, the, the fact that uh, tomorrow will be uh, 25 years to the day since the Chernobyl disaster. Uh, now we have this Fukushima crisis. Are we seeing a case of possible negligence here, do you think? Um, no, I don't think this is a case of negligence because uh, uh, since Chernobyl, nuclear power has undergone a major, uh, uh, major series of improvements in the nuclear safety. Um, it is by far the most regulated uh, industry. We have to uh, undergo a very in-depth, very serious, very detailed uh, uh, paperwork acknowledging and describing potential risks, potential hazards. And what we have done is in the last 25 years we have considerably improved safety, improved the efficiency, improved, improved the power output. Uh, uh, okay, so safety has been improved, there have been more regulations introduced. Uh, of course, no one could foresee a, a tsunami, an earthquake and a tsunami coming to hit the Fukushima plant. But if, if I may, one of the greatest fears about Chernobyl uh, years ago um, was that uh, there could be some sort of radioactive contamination with an underground water source, a river that was nearby. Now, Fukushima is a coastal plant. Are there similar concerns here? Yes, you're probably talking about one of the biggest uh, dangers of uh, nuclear is the movie China Syndrome, which has put a lot of uh, misconceptions in the, into the minds of people, and uh, it's been a lot, been a lot difficult to, uh, to continue developing nuclear power. Uh, in Chernobyl, they were actually building a tunnel, an underground tunnel, to build a, a reactor core catcher, uh, thinking that this might happen, but it did not, and uh, a lot of effort, w w but we did it just because of safety concerns. Uh, at Fukushima, uh, I would think that uh, I, would, I, I, I don't have the, the necessary information. Right, if, I, if I may, we're, we're, I'm sorry, we're, we're running yeah. very, very low on time here. But uh, Japan has seen a rejuvenation in the anti-nuclear uh, movement there uh, with, with protests in, in downtown Tokyo. Do you think these people's voices could be heard? Um, I'm sure they will be heard and they, should, they must be heard. And uh, this is putting a lot of pressure on the politicians. And I would uh, ask them to choose uh, the most uh, um, scientific, science-oriented uh, solution, not, not to be big on populism, but uh, to uh, keep with the low-cost, uh, carbon emissions-free source of power and uh, uh, use all the experience uh, that, was, that we previously had and to, um, uh, of course, organize some kind of public um, uh, information activities. The biggest thing with nuclear power is how uh, to popularize, to present it to the public. Because we have all the technology, we have all the means, we are very uh, good on... So there, so there are alternate means, uh, other methods of, of getting energy away from, from nuclear power. But Pavel uh, Yakovlev, uh, director of the Atomic Energy uh, website, I'm sorry yeah. that's all the time we have for today, but thank you for joining yeah. us. Mm -hmm.